Mount Vernon police are investigating another death involving a car and a pedestrian. It happened this morning on Broadway Street. Police Chief Trent Page says this is the second time a person has been hit on Broadway Street just since Friday. Our Waylon Walsh Parker talked with locals and they say that intersection is just too dangerous. A couple of residents who live by 42nd Street and Broadway tell me that they've had a hard time walking across this intersection, even with the crosswalk. Usually somebody hit or an accident probably at least once a week. Todd Hoffman says he was hit at the crosswalk in his wheelchair. I was crossing the road and somebody in the turning lane didn't see me coming and just went through a red light and hit me. Mount Vernon's housing authority is near that intersection and Hoffman shared a lot of people that live there are older, have a disability or low income. A lot of people in this area that are handicapped, older, they walk a lot slower than that. They can only get maybe one lane. Jackie Rector says she knows some of her neighbors has to walk to get where they're going. I'd like to see more planning for the disabled and the seniors that do have to cross Broadway. Some people shared that it's hard to use the crosswalk, so they have a shortcut that they use to jaywalk. I'll see three or four people a day heading that way, you know, to go to Kroger's. Mount Vernon's police chief Trent Page says they've had two people die from accidents on Broadway Street between 44th and 42nd Street. So that's actually under Illinois Department of Transportation control. And so any type of safety measures or implementations would be something that would have to be approved um, by the Illinois Department of Transportation. Hoffman says he worries for others who have to use the crosswalk. And other people, I know they ask me for a ride just to go across the street just because they don't want to walk, you know, make it across that. In Mount Vernon, Waylon Walls Parker, News 3. The Jefferson County coroner says the victim is 65 year old Robert Bryan of Carrier Mills. At this time, police have not released the name of the driver.